My hope is, here's my hope. Here's the perfect world. The perfect world is he goes over, has some big money heavyweight boxing fight. John Jones and Cyril Gaon have a fight. John wins, Cyril wins, whoever wins is the UFC champion. And then they have... Comes back. And then Francis comes back. Yeah, like, I'd like can, to see him He come can back. totally come back. He's like, Francis, if you're listening, sir... Please you can don't come back. don't sign an exclusive contract. Just go no, make some there's money. There's no way, right? He would. Who knows if someone comes along and offers him a shit ton of money? Yeah. Look, I mean, he should. If someone says, "Hey, I'll give you a hundred million dollars," you do whatever. You yeah, do whatever. You say, "Okay, what do I got to do? Fight Jake Paul? What the, <laughs> fuck, what the fuck do I have to do?" You know what I mean? Like if if they're gonna offer him big money, but I think. They're trying to do a Tyson Fury fight. I know Tyson Fury saying a bunch of crazy shit like, "We'll fight, MMA we'll gloves. fight in a cage." Yeah, what fucking uh, fucking four ounce clubs? The yeah. regular with boxing rules, MMA. Mike gloves. Tyson as the referee. He's saying, yeah. Why, why is that? Like, for why fun. Because <laughs> I mean, that would be more people would buy it. I mean, that's uh, yeah. that's just uh, getting a bunch of people to buy it. You make know? as much money as they humanly can. I mean, the, Tyson. People need to understand the levels. Of boxing, though, you gotta understand. I mean, t listen, Francis Ngannou could knock out any human being on earth if he can hit them clean on the chin. But yeah. good luck hitting Tyson Fury clean on the chin, bro. Did you see Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather sparring yesterday? I did. He amazing. made that kid. I don't know who that kid is. Well, the kid is like a decent boxer. Yeah, decent and boxer. That's, that just shows you right yeah. there. I mean, he was. I just saw it yesterday. I was watching, and he was just and he was talking, playing with bang, him, yeah, bang, playing bang. with him. And moving away from him, and you know, and the kid, whoever this guy is, I guess he's a YouTuber. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh, do you know who he is, Jamie? <clears throat> Looking right now, I didn't know. Really uh, the kid had an excellent account of himself because even though Floyd was tagging him, he didn't shy away. He he kept moving forward. He was just. And you can't get frustrated. Like the, the worst thing you can do when Floyd's talking shit to you like that yeah. is rush him, right? Because you're gonna you're gonna walk into a right hand, and you're gonna look yeah. like an you're gonna look like an idiot. So he's still, I mean, he's like 50 years old. I mean, it's amazing. His understanding of where the punches oh, are coming. Look at coming, that, look the, at that fucking counter. His understanding of, is that the dude he yeah, boxed? Yeah, he's talking about the video. Oh, so let's he hear him say it. What are you saying? <laughs> oh my God. I didn't even see that. That was like <laughs> a perfect body shot. Look, coming. And he touched oh you with that. Days. Yeah, it just touched him. Go, oh, Jesus. That's funny. That if he wanted to take beat. you down with that, that liver shot, he would have taken you down. Yeah, easily. He's just tapping him up. But it's uh, that guy's got a great uh, sense of humor about it. It's very funny how he's laughing about it. <laughs> but, um, you know, I mean, you got to think, this guy is 50 years old. I mean, how old is Floyd now? He's got to be close he's to 50. He's got to be late 40s, 48. Yeah, late 40s. Kid was 21. And at this point in time, 45. 45? Sorry, Floyd. 45? I didn't mean Sorry, to age you. Sorry, Floyd. But I mean, past his, par his prime and still just making millions of dollars fighting people that have fights. no business. <laughs> he's really brilliant. What he's doing is brilliant because he, he gets these guys to fight him. They have no business fighting him. He's making millions of dollars. Yeah. He puts on a show. Do you see the one he did? Uh, I guess it was in, was it in Dubai? Where he, he took the ring card and he was walking around in between rounds holding the ring card. Oh my god! He I took didn't it from see that the ring one. card girl. He was just having a blast. I saw the one a while back. He fought that kickboxer kid. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was like the Tension. first time he had done Tension one of those. Yeah. yeah, one of those like big exhibitions. And it's just like he's just going to make you look silly. Fought one twenty six. Well, like, Tension's a tiny guy. Yeah, he's a brilliant kickboxer. But without kicking, yeah, without the got kicking, got no chance. I know. He might not even have a chance. He has a chance of kicking. You imagine they let him leg kick Floyd? That's the only way I'm getting in there. <laughs> can, can I yeah. elbow? How about this? Can I, I knee you? I get ten leg kicks around. <laughs> I, I give me give me one. Right. Give one me around. one. Yeah. yeah. If I land, uh, you know, I don't want to. Oh, you get those juices flowing again. Yeah. I, let's yeah. go. Yeah. I do, man. It's um, it's hard. It's a it's a, especially since we do commentary, right? So I'm around these elite fighters all the time and i try to be respect but you can tell sometimes somebody will get sassy or have a comment about what i said and it's like man don't don't forget that i've been in there too man like i know 
everything that's going on there. I've had my ass beat. I've beaten some good dudes. I've never was champion. That's the only thing. Sometimes I feel a little bit of um, what's the what's the word where you uh, uh like you feel like you're imposter syndrome. Yes. Yeah. Like I don't deserve to be there sometimes because you got Dom next to me, he's champ, WEC champ. I got DC's double champ next to me. Well, what about me? I never even fought MMA. Yeah, but you're there day one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's you do a great job. You, you shouldn't have imposter syndrome, and you are absolutely a legitimate, like top flight professional fighter. It's just um, that sport is always going to have sensitive people when you know you dedicate your entire life. To yeah. this one moment, and then someone's criticizing it and saying, "Oh, he could have done this, and he could have done that," yeah. and they're like, "Fuck you, Paul Felder." <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've had to uh, to take some Joe Rogan lessons on not not reading the comments and Can't. not doing all that stuff because everyone should listen to me about that. For the longest time, I would get, man, and I'd get into these arguments, and you. You can't win because you've already lost. Mm-hmm. The the second you type it in and send it, they yeah. just won. Yeah, you lost right away. L- and you, you also lost really lost letting your... it get to you is yeah. the the first loss. There's no, there's nothing at stake, so you can't win anything. No, there's what no, are you gonna do? No way Be- to win. Yeah, I'll, I'll beat you up, internet guy. I say that, but then there's Gordon Ryan who loves to fucking go back and forth with people online. But which does is he have hilarious. fun doing it? He does. Okay. He's a sometimes psych- he's a I can, legitimate psycho though. But as long as you can enjoy, yeah. Well, he's a real psycho. As long as you can enjoy it, yeah. Well, I started to get it. mad. <laughs> he enjoys it. He gets a kick out of it. He doesn't give a fuck. Like you can't hurt his feelings like that. Well, because I mean, you're, you're like, what are you gonna do? You're right. What, first of all, where's the trash talk even coming from with a guy like that? Right. Like, what are you saying to him? Right. Oh, that he's not the best. Fifty in a row. <laughs> oh, you, you can't heel hook everybody. Shit, you're the greatest of all time. Whatever. You're a you beautiful, suck, bro. handsome, tall, good-looking guy built like got a Greek god. Fuck abs. off. Hate your abs. Yeah. Probably so you can want to suck dick. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's an interesting thing, that social media, because I've seen it ruin people's lives. I've seen uh, some fighters, uh, they get into it with people on social media, and they're going back and forth all the time, and I'm, I know that's fucking with their head. I know they're probably thinking about that where they're hitting pads or thinking yep. about some mean thing that someone said to yeah. them. 